Today guys, we'll be discussing steroids and hair loss. Is it true that taking steroids can increase your chances of going bald? But we'll also be looking at a couple of examples of bodybuilders who might have lost their hair through steroid abuse. So guys, do make sure to stay tuned. We have got a good one for you today. Hey guys, Leon here from hairguard.com where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. Guys, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to hit subscribe and also hit the notifications button if you want updating on any hair loss news or any breakthroughs that we find out about. And if you're watching this video on steroids and hair loss because you are worried about your hair loss, then do make sure to click the link in the description to take the hair guard hair loss quiz. You'll answer a few short and simple questions about yourself and your hair loss, then you'll actually receive free expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. Now guys, without any further delay, let's get straight into it. I first want you to take a careful look at this photograph. It's from the 2018 Mr. Olympia, arguably the world's premier bodybuilding competition. Do you notice anything funny? Sure, all the contestants are jacked, but we already knew that. It is a bodybuilding competition after all. Okay, in case you didn't spot it, almost all the contestants have shaved heads. And this is no fluke. Most bodybuilders in previous year's competitions, as well as in other major bodybuilding competitions, compete with shaven heads. So, steroids and hair loss. Guys, there are 3 to 4 million steroid users in the US alone, meaning that this is a huge topic for many of you watching this video. Now, this is a very difficult area to study scientifically, as anabolic steroids in the US and most other countries are illegal. This presents a lot of practical and ethical problems for doctors and other scientists who want to do research meaning that a lot of the information out there is purely anecdotal. With that out of the way, will steroids make you go bold? Now guys, it is no secret that here at Hair God, we promote a healthy lifestyle and supplementation with safe natural compounds. So anabolic steroids are obviously something that we would not recommend, even if you were a professional athlete. Having said that, we are not here to scaremonger or tell you that as soon as you begin your first steroid cycle, your hair is guaranteed to fall off. This is not the case. In fact, it's likely that scaremongering by many healthcare professionals and politicians has caused athletes to simply lose trust and stop listening to these authorities. So yes, steroids are definitely not good for your hair. The whole point of taking steroids is to raise the androgen levels in your body to unnatural levels. Some of this excess androgen will eventually convert into DHT and this will be bad news for your hair. But when it comes to hair loss, not all steroids are created equally. For example, nandrolone, terminabol, human growth hormone, and low, I repeat, low levels of testosterone will not damage your hair as much as some other performance enhancing substances. And guys, these other substances that I am referring to that are absolutely are likely to attack and miniaturize your hair follicles include dianabol, trenbolone, winstrol, and high doses of testosterone. Also, regardless of which steroid you take, you are far more likely to lose hair if you are genetically predisposed to androgenetic alopecia. Without the genetic predisposition, you might very well get away with zero or hardly any hair loss. Also, if you do lose your hair, a lot of it may grow back when you get off the steroids, but be warned, it will be finer and never as rich as it originally was. And with that, let's look at a couple of famous examples of bodybuilders who have lost their hair, most likely due to steroids. Now, the first we're going to look at is Rich Piana. Rich Piana's untimely death in 2017, at the age of only 47 years old, was yet another sad reminder of the damages long-term steroid abuse can afflict on the body. The extensive substance abuse causes internal organs to enlarge to such a degree that by the time of his death, his heart and liver were twice their normal size. Around the age of 40, Piana started to show the classic signs of androgenetic alopecia with receding temples and a thinning forehead. As a result, the bodybuilding celebrity resorted to the frequent use of baseball caps as well as shaving his head. Surprisingly, a few years later, most of his hair had apparently grown back. Most likely, Piana had had a hair transplant and this was probably a follicular unit transplantation, most commonly known as strip excision. This is evidenced by the conspicuous strip of scar tissue you can see at the side of his head in this image. Now, famous bodybuilder Dave Palumbo has been very candid about both his steroid drug usage and resulting hair loss. Palumbo admits to using testosterone, trembolone, equipose, nandrolone, growth hormone, and insulin, amongst others. He began losing his hair in his early 30s 
and soon after had a hair transplant. You can see the before and after in these images below. Now, I hate to say it guys, but it's not the best work that we've seen. Recently, Palumbo took to YouTube to talk about the results of another cosmetic hair procedure that he had undertaken, namely microdermal pigmentation. This is basically a tattoo of the scalp to add some pigment and give the impression of a fuller head of hair. So guys, this is all I have for you today. We only focused on hair loss from steroids in today's video, but the side effects of steroids are obviously more far reaching. For example, things like acne, lowered sperm count, testicular atrophy, incompetence, elevated blood pressure, liver damage, depression, mood swings, you name it. If you are a bodybuilder or athlete and considering taking steroids, our advice at the end of the day is to look at the bigger picture and adopt a long-term perspective. There will come a time in your life when the gym is not your number one priority. The few pounds of lean muscle that you can gain will quickly disappear, but a substantial portion of the hair that you lost will never come back. As always guys, we do look forward to your feedback in the comments section below. Till next time, this was Leon from Hair God.